Buenas noches. Repetime, Zulma. Es de que se me llenaba en inglés. Ya ni me voy a salir porque bien noche esta cosa. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hello. 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 Nice to see you. Hi. Now we're going to start with today's class. It's already 8.01. So let's go ahead and work with our class. Today we're going to start with our second unit, unit number two. All right. That's what we're going to do today. And I need you to pay attention to uh, our work for today, okay? Okay. Let me show you my computer. Things that we need to do first before we continue is that we need to pay attention. We need to pay attention that today is going, we're going to start with the uh, private sessions from 10 p.m. to 10.10. 10. Okay, de 10 a 10 y 10. Vamos a empezar hoy. Recuérdense que enviaron un listado. También yo les compartí el listado por acá para que se recuerden eh, a quién le corresponde ese día. Si, si recuerdo bien, hoy le corresponde a Luis Armando, who is not here yet, but I think he will be. Okay, so let's start. We're going to Let's start here with uh, the National English for Work program. We are in model number two, right? And today we are going to start with our, oh, geez, this is not the one. Give me one sec. I'm showing you Friday's class. Yes. Today's class is video conferences today. One moment, one moment, one moment. Is video conference number six, right? And we are in unit number two. Unit number two is called ongoing activities at the workplace. Ongoing activities at the workplace. We have four competencies. Number one, express how frequently I do an activity in the workplace. Number two, provide instructions for actions or activities in simple commands. Number three, express obligations or needs at the workplace. And number four, organize activities by date of event. Right? Those are the four competencies that we're going to develop. Today's class is called how to use frequency others. Now, but before we do that, we need to remember a little bit of what we did in the previous classes, right? We were working last class with a paragraph that you were supposed to write. I remember some of you read their paragraphs. I would like to listen to a couple of paragraphs that were not read. Voluntarios, volunteers, de los que no leyeron su párrafo. We completed the paragraph, a paragraph with this information. Esta es la información con la cual nosotros completamos el párrafo la semana pasada. Tell me, please.
Uh -huh. None of them? Teacher, tenemos que repetirlo. Sí, es que no todos lo leyeron. Se quedaron un par. Ok, ok, ok. El, el párrafo que hicimos la semana pasada. Yes. Ya se lo digo, ya se lo digo. What about the others? Nobody else? Hi, teacher. Okay, Maria, please start. A typical day in my workplace start at 7.30 a.m. Then at 8 a.m. Uh, I sometimes go in the office. I start working at 6.30 I am, I tend the manager clean the apartment. For example, clean the purchasing department. I have lunch at 1 p.m. I finish my work day. I finish work day at 5.30 p.m. 5.30 p.m., excellent job, Maria. Very good, thank you so much. Another person that didn't participate last week, ¿Alguien más que no leyó su párrafo? ¿Que quiera participar hoy? ¿Que quiera practicar su inglés? Nobody. Ok, let's continue. ¿Alguien quiere participar? Pues bueno, sigamos. Let's continue. Next activity. We're going to write sentences with simple present in negative. Ok. We already, have, we already know how to do that. Right? What are the auxiliaries that we use to create our sentences in simple present, in negative form. What are the auxiliaries? Do and does. Do and does. Very good, Carmen. We use do and does. Do and, and does. Okay, very good, Angie. Thank you. And what is the negative form of do? Do not. do not. Very good. It is do not. And the negative not. form of does? Does not. Does not. Very good. Do not and does not. Excellent. That's what we have. We have do not and does not. Okay, Josue. Now, we're going to continue right here. I need you, look at the examples. In this example, we have four sentences, right? Ricardo, can you please read sentence number one? Yes. Maria does not, does not work at HPBC. Very good. What about number two? Please read number two, Alexis. Marcos does not by lay at work. Okay, very good. Let's read number three, uh, Angie. Juan and Pedro do not write reports. Juan and Pedro do not write reports. Good job. And the last one, Maria. We do not send letters. We do not send letters. Very good. So right now, as, as a matter of practice, what you are going to do is that you're going to write a sentence, one with the subject pronoun I, another one with she, sorry, we, they, and you, okay? We are going to write sentences in simple, present in the negative form, in the negative form. So we are going to write five sentences. One, two, three, four, five, okay? All of them in negative. Vamos a escribir las cinco oraciones en negativo, right? You already told me that you're going to use does not, Right, you're going to use do not, right? But that's what you're going to decide at this moment, okay? Let's go ahead and do that. 
Let me change this one. This one you're gonna do he. I, she, we, they, and he, okay? Let's go ahead and write the sentences. ¿Se entiende que vamos a trabajar en estos momentos? Yes? Yes, teacher. No? Es negativo con el presente. Exactly. Sentences, for example, if I say, I check reports every day. The negative, I don't check reports every day. Okay. I, I write letters to my customers. I don't write letters to my customers. She doesn't write letters to her customers. Okay. We don't write letters to our customers. Right. That's what we're going to do right now. Uh, Emerson, Alexis, Pedrina, Roxana, Gabriela, please turn on your cameras. Remember, it's one of the requirements that in support us. Thank you very much, beautiful people. There is only one person who's driving that cannot turn on its camera. His camera. Mientras ustedes trabajan, yo trabajo pasándoles la asistencia. Okay, let me check here. Okay, number 12 here. I have Ana Gabriela Cordoba de Samayoa. Present. Very good. Angela de Jesus Santa Maria Juarez. Thank you. Asalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Carmen Good evening. Good evening. Carmen Lisette Hernandez Escobar. Present. Thank you. Celia Jasmin Castro de Chévez. Present. Daniela Mirka Sandoval Aviles. Present. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present, teacher. Thank you. Glenda Esmeralda Trigueros Vázquez. José Alfonso Palma Mejía. Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you. Leida Susana Sorto Cuadra. Luis Armando Ventura Campos. Present teacher. María Concepción Serón Jovel. Present teacher. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Present teacher. Thank you. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Roxana Yanira Mejibar Escobar. Present. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Present teacher. Jennifer Avidaí López Escobar. Thank you. Now we're going to continue. Did you finish with yes. your sentences? Yes? A mí no me mencionó. No. Oh, Ricardo Gabriel Alvarenga Ventura. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Let me know when you finish. Finish. Okay. Only Ricardo, what about the others? Did you finish? I finish. You finish, okay, good. Ricardo, Roxana. Who else finished? I finished it. Carmen, good. Let's wait for the others.
Sandra, Concepción, Luis, did you finish? Alexis? No yet? Aún no? No, teacher. Ok. In the future. Okay, thank you. Teacher, no importa que las haga con el mismo complemento. No. Okay, teacher. Yeah, teacher. Finish. Very good. Thank you so much, Sandita. I am changing today the names of some people here that you, you didn't put your name completely. You need to put your name, com, complete name, please. Okay, como le aparece en do it. Now, let's start and, sh and share our sentences, okay? Let's share our sentences. Let's go ahead, our sentence, let's share our sentences here. Let's start with Ricardo. Ricardo, Gabriel, you finish first. What's your example? Tell me the first example, let me see here, is with I. Okay, tell me one sentence with I. I. Okay, I don't drink milk in the morning. I don't drink milk in the morning. Okay, good job, Ricardo. Tell me a sentence with he. He doesn't uh, swim at Monday. He doesn't swim on Mondays. On Monday. On, Monday. Ah. on Mondays. Okay. okay, very good. Very good. Roxana, read your examples. Read one with we and another one with she. We, not, we do not check reports at work. Okay, good. We did not check she reports. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. She doesn't send message to the classmates. She doesn't send messages to the classmates. Okay. Very good. Excellent job, Roxana. Carmen, what are your examples? Tell me one with they and another one with he. Okay. They... Don't use the computer from 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. Okay, good. And with he or she? He. He. He doesn't answer the phone during his lunch. He, he doesn't answer his phone during lunch. Okay, good. Very good, Carmen. Let's continue, Sandra. One with I and the other one with she. I don't run the park. I don't run the park in the park. In the park. I don't run in the park. Very in good. Park. Mm -hmm. She doesn't visit your uncle. Okay. She doesn't visit her uncle. Your uncle. Okay. Your uncle. Recuerden que cuando usamos your, está diciendo como que es a mi tío. She doesn't visit your ankle, it's me, tío. She doesn't visit her ankle, it's el de ella. Okay? Do you remember object pronouns, Andrita? Hola. Hi. Sandra, for example, yes. if you say, she doesn't visit your ankle. Si usted me dice eso, quiere decir que ella no visita a mi tío. Porque me está diciendo your. Ok. Si utiliza her ankle, es al tío de ella. Ok. Ok. Entonces sería her ankle. Her ankle. Of course. Ok. okay. Good job. Mm -hmm. Who else finished? Thank you. I need Thank two you. more examples. You're welcome, Sandra. Who else finished? Who else finished? ¿Quién más terminó? Te voy a poner esa frase aquí otra de nuevo. Para que se recuerden. ¿Quién más terminó? Who else finished? 
Uy, perdón, se la puse a Juan Josué. Give me a moment. This is for everyone. Who else finished? ¿Quién más terminó? Finished, teacher. Go ahead, give me your example. He does not student today. She does not study today. Read. She does not study today. He does not study today. Okay. She does not study today. Very good. Tell me one example with they. They do not are a doctor. Oh. They are not doctors. They are not doctors. Es con el verbo to be. They are not doctors. Recuerden que el simple present, we use simple present for activities, for daily routines, for actions. Okay? Para acciones que se realizan todos los días. Okay? Para eso utilizamos el verbo el simple present. Verb to be. They are not doctors. Ese es un estado. Ahí se puede utilizar el verbo to be. Okay? We can say, they don't work in the hospital. That is different. They are not doctors. They don't work in the hospital. ¿Qué la diferencia? Hello? Is someone there? Yes, we can see the difference. Again. Okay, thank you very much. Very good. Somebody else finished? Alguien más terminó? Sí, Ricardo? Hi. Eh, ¿Será que puede decir otra vez el, la diferencia? Yes, simple present. Con el ejemplo is, que acabo de decir. Uh -huh. Yes, simple present is used for daily activities or regular activities. Okay? Things that we do every day. Right? That's when we use simple present. And the verb to be is used for states, for feelings. Right? For example, we can say they are not doctors. They don't work in the hospital. So an activity is work. They don't work in the hospital. Todas las actividades se pueden decir utilizando un verbo. Okay? Work, dance, jump, write, and so on. ¿Se entiende hoy, Ricardo? ¿Poquito? Yes, thanks. Yes. Okay, good. Another question before we continue. Maria Concepcion has her answers. Go ahead, Maria Concepcion. Yes, teacher. Uh, he doesn't build the house. He doesn't? He doesn't build the house. Mm -hmm. Good. He doesn't build the house. Build. Good. Give Concept. me another example. Sí. ¿Está bien? He doesn't build the house. Yes? They, uh, they don't eat pizza. They don't eat pizza. Okay, very good. He doesn't build the house. They don't eat pizza. Very good. Excellent job. Uh, who was speaking? ¿Quién más tenía una pregunta? ¿Escuché a alguien que estaba hablando? Yo, teacher, Sandra. Okay, go ahead. Este, entonces, ¿se podría decir they, they don't doctor? No, no se puede decir eso. No se puede. No, they are Tendría not que doctors. Que una actividad. ¿Cómo? Tendría que ser una actividad o una rutina diaria. Sí, las routine. actividades y las rutinas diarias se utilizan verbos para decirlo en este caso. Menos okay. el verbo to be. Porque el verbo to be no, es, no representa ninguna acción. El verbo to be solamente representa eh, estados, representa sentimientos. Por ejemplo, I am hungry, o I am sad, I am a teacher, I am a student, I am an engineer, I am at the hospital, es un estado. Pero para una acción, no puedo decir que el verbo to be me exprese una acción. Entonces no puedo decir they don't doctor. 
Mm, queda como cortada en la oración. Eh, no, no se puede. Simplemente no se puede. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome, Sandrita. Another question. Another question. No? Ok. Vienen callados este día. So let's continue. Let's continue. We're going to write, well, we, we already did this. Tell me one activity that you do not do in your workplace. One activity, we're going to do this orally right now. Le voy a preguntar a los que no participaron en la, en la actividad anterior. Voy a dejar pensar 30 segundos. Tell me one activity that you do not do in your workplace. For example, I... I do not check self reports. I do not check self reports. I do not check self reports. Esa es una actividad que yo no realizo en mi trabajo. I do not check self reports. I do not contact clients. Right? So tell me one activity that you do not do in your workplace. Let's start. Ya la pensaron? It's only it's speaking. Okay, go ahead. I, I do not call um, clients. I do not call clients. Excellent job, Roxana. Uh, Amilka, go ahead. Uh. She does not work on Sunday. She does not work on Sundays. That is perfect. But tell me about you. Dígame sobre usted. Esa está perfecta para este ejercicio, el anterior. Para este. She does not work on Sunday. Muy bien hecho. Ahora dígame una que usted no realiza. I don't study in the morning. I don't study in the morning. Okay, good. That's good. Tell me another sentence, Alexis. I don't eat a pizza. In the I work. don't eat a pizza in my work, okay? I don't eat pizza in my work. Repeat. I don't eat pizza in my work. I don't uh, eat a pizza. My no, I don't eat pizza in my work. Eat. Listen, listen, to, listen to me. I don't eat pizza in my work. I don't eat pizza in my work. In my work. Okay. In, 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 my, in my work. In my work. I say that no lleva la A antes de pizza. No. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Okay, in this case, no. Sandra? I don't, I don't attend to client, clients. I don't attend clients. Repeat. Clients. I don't attend clients. Clients. Attend clients. Very good. Hey, let's see, Pedrina. I do not, uh, uh, I eat pizza. Ah, esa es la que dijo Ricardo. Dígame usted una suya. Yo le estoy diciendo que no como pizza. I did not eat pizza. Eso dijo Ricardo. Piense, ya ve yo con usted. Ana Gabriela. No acepto repeticiones, chicos. Lo siento. Ana Gabriela. Tell me something you do not do, Ana Gabriela. I don't check financial reports. Eh, I couldn't hear you, Gabriela. Okay. Write it in the chat. Now? Write it in the chat. Celia, what's your example? I don't know uh, cooking in my work. I do not cook in my work. Hello, teacher. Hi, Josue. 
Repeat I with don't, me. Uh -huh. Yes, Jose? I don't have coffee breaks in my work. I don't have coffee breaks in my work. Okay, very good. That's that. Okay, Celia. Repeat. I don't cook. I don't cook. Very good. It's not cooking. I don't cook in my workplace. I don't cook in my workplace. Okay. Very good job. Thank you, Celia. Thank you, Josue. Now, let me read here. Anna, Gabri Anna Gabriela says, I don't check financial report. Okay. Very good. Asalia, read your information. Yo a Gabriela, ¿por qué no la escuchaba? Usted sí la escucha. Uh -huh. Um, I do not play in the park every day. Okay, that's correct. But in your workplace, in your workplace. Activities that you do not do in your workplace, Asalia. Okay, Abigail, okay. I do I not, not rest. I do not... Um, uh, Think, think. Report. Think, think. Uh, Jennifer, I do not rest. I do not do rest. No, I do not rest. Okay, Pedrina, Luis Armando, tell me your examples. Asalia, prepárese para su después de Luis. Pedrina. I don't know, chef, take correspondence. Mm, I meet working. I did not check correspondence in my work. Mm -hmm. Repeat. I do not check it, say correspondence in the work. Okay. I did not check correspondence. I do not check in the correspondence in my work. In my work. Okay, good. Good. Luis Armando, tell me your example. Okay, teacher, I don't play football in my work. I do not play football in my work. That's correct. I did not use the printer in my office. Carmen, that's very good. Very good. Now, Luis, what's your example? Hola. What's your example? I don't play football in my work. I don't play football in my work. Uh, let's see, Emerson. Thank you, Luis. I don't contact the provider in my work. I do not contact. Contact. Repeat. I don't contact the providers in my work. In my work. Okay. Good. Angela? Hi. I do not sleep in the office. Okay. Yeah, that's true. I do not sleep in the office. Very good. Now, we're going to continue here with the next activity. Do we understand the negative form of do and doesn't? Do not and does not? ¿Se entiende el negativo? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay. Yes. I'm hoping it's correct, okay? I do not drink freezing water at my work. I do not drink milk in my work, okay? I do not drink milk in my work. Good job. Now we're going to practice a conversation here. And we're going to practice today a question that we practiced before. But we're going to practice the adverse of frequency. Hey, Ana Gabriela. No, Ana Gabriela, the audio doesn't work. Celia, read please the instruction. Listen to your teacher. Listen to your teacher read the conversation. Then practice why a partner, partner discuss the question on exercise three page. Nineteen. 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 Very good. So we're going to practice this conversation right now together. And we start here, right? It says, how open, right? 
we start? How it's often? A, yes? Ya cambié de audífono, ya sirve mi audio. Ah, ok, ok, perfecto. Gracias, Gabriela. We go with John and Anne. With John and Anne. John, how often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay. We have the conversation between John and Anne. I want Josue to help me. And Josue, you're going to be John. Okay. And Anne is going to be Maria Concepcion. Okay. Let's start. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I need to check it as often as I can, and how often do you call your client? I often call 10 once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order Do you call clients. Yes, always call them 15 in the mo morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, very good, very good. Now, let's go ahead and practice this word. Right here, please. Let me see. Give me a moment. This word, clients. Maria Concepcion? Clients. 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 Very Client. good. Client. Roxana, you're going to be Anne. And John is going to be Sandrita. Okay? Let's start. Okay. Sandrita? Okay. Comienzo. How often do you check your mind? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check if I often I ask a can. And how often do you call your client? I often call them once a week on Mondays. I usually call them on Friday. To check their order, do you call, do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You're right. You're right. Very good. Very good. Thank you to both of you. Very good. Sandra, very good. Roxana. Let's see, Leida. Leida, you are, are you here? Yes, you're going to be John. Okay, Leida, and Anne is going to be uh, Carmen. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I pray to check it as it's of often as I can, and how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is it's, it's is important to have contact with them at the time. You are right. Very good, very good job. Now. Uh, I want you guys to help me out and pronounce this. Call your clients. Carmen, call your clients. 
Call your clients. Thank you so much, Leida. Call your clients. Call your clients. Very good. Now, Leida, help me out and repeat this information. With them. With them. With them. With them. All the time. All the time. Okay. Carmen, you? With them all the time. With, with them, them all the time. the time. Very good, girls. Very good. And one more couple that's going to help me. Uh, Ricardo, you're going to be John. Angie, you're going to be Anne. Okay. How often do you check your email? Angela? Where is Angel? Okay, yes, if we So, Ricardo and Emerson. Emerson, you're going to be Anne. Okay, one more time, Ricardo. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every two, every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. You are right. Very good. You are right. Excellent job, guys. Any other volunteers for this one? I have a space for two more. Volunteers? Volunteers, volunteers? Luis. No. Okay, Luis and? Yo. Yo, who's yo? Liliana. Liliana, okay. Luis? You are John, okay. Liliana, you are Anne. How often do you check your email? Every two, four, and you? Well, I do to check it often as you can. And uh, how often do you call your parents? I often call her on a weekend and Monday book, actually call them on Friday to check it. There or do you call clicks? Yes, I was tell the first thing in the morning. I believe it's very important to have a contact with the all the time. You are right. You are right. Very good. Very good. Now I want you to pay attention to me. This is for everyone. Everyone. How often? Repeat. How often? How often? How often? How often? How often? Hours. 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 It's not hours. It's not hours. It's not. It's hours. 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 Okay. Hours. And then, as often as I can. As, as often as I can. Often. Often as I can. We have as two pronunciations. Often. We can say often or often. 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 often or often. often. Good. Often. 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 Very good. Usually. 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 Often. 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 Always. 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 Call them. Call them. Call them. Call them. Very good. Very good. Now, we're going to stop sharing here. And let's continue. 
Yes, Amilka. La pronunciación correcta de, de la parte donde dice John, I believe. believe. I believe. I believe. Believe. I believe I can fly. Give me believe. one moment. It is here. Uh, believe, 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 what is it? I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. Repeat. I believe it is important. It's it is important to have contact to have contact with them with them all the time all the time excellent job very good very good any other questions about this conversation no no okay that's from yes. what do you mean Si repetimos el que, Alexis. La conversación, ¿por qué no la repetí yo? Ah, yo pedí voluntarios y usted no me dijo. <risas> ah, lo que pasa es que salieron los compañeros, tampoco le iba a quitar el impulso. Ok, Ricardo, en. I can help you if you want. Ok, Roxana, Ricardo, en Roxana. Ricardo, go with John, en Roxana is Anne. ¿O cuál fue usted Ahí. antes, Roxana? Alexis. Yo fui antes. I want to be John. John. Okay. So I, you're I, going to be John and Ricardo, you are Anne. Okay. okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours on the job. Well, try to check it as soon as often as I can. I hey. How often do you call your client? I often call day uh, on, on the weekend, weekend on Monday, but I usually call him on Friday to check they are. Do you have, do you call clients? Yes, I always call them for things in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are real. You are right. 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 You are me right. Cuesta Very good. Me cuesta un poquito por right. la R. Don't worry. We are Thank beginners. You. You're welcome. Thank you. Is someone missing? Okay. Another volunteer? Before we go with the next activity? No, yo no mencioné, que pero no, yo me, quedo. me sacó el Inter. No escucho dos personas en este momento. Me gusta con Angie. ¿Qué? ¿Salia? Sí, sí. Está, eh, ¿Ok? Angie. Ok. Ok, ya salía. Asalia, you're John. Angie, you are Anne. Ok. Okay. How often? How? How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients or client? Clients, very good. I often call them uh, once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check the order. Do you call client? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it it is impo important to have contact with ten or tea time. You are right. You are right. Okay, very good. Very good. Then we have the conversation here. There are there are two questions on page nineteen. 
right? There are two questions. Carmen, can you please read the questions on exercise three? Abran su libro en la página 19. Open your book to page 19, please. Everyone. And there are, there are two questions, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. There are two questions there. Can you please read them, Carmen? Okay, number uh, one. How often does Anne check her email? Okay. And the second is why it is important to check the email every day. Okay. Why is it important to check the email every day? Very good. Now we're going to answer these questions right now with the information we remember. Okay. How often does she check the email according to the conversation? And uh -huh. that the end every two hours. Every? Every two hours. Every two hours. Open your mouth, hours. Natalia, hours, exactly. Every two hours, hours. exactly. And every why, two hours. Excellent. Why is it important to check your email? Why? Ricardo Gabriel? Eh, personal or lo que personal. dice el texto? Personal. But eh, because uh, much information eh, with the clients and sales and meetings uh, entre otras cosas que no sé cómo decirla <laughs> among other things among other things entre otras among cosas other. among other things entre otras cosas because we have a lot of information right but according to the conversation, according to the conversation, why is it important to come to check your emails? Does it say anything about that? The conversation is about the import, important to call the clients, the not quality. about the, the check the email. Excellent job. It's not about checking emails. Right? It's not about checking emails. But why is it important to check your emails? Carmen? For me, it's very important because I can be updated. You can be updated, uh huh? Yeah, and I can check any information about, interesting information about my team, my providers, and my partners. Okay. Because you can check in order. I'm sorry, Roxana? It is important to check the emails because you can see in order your emails. Okay, you can you can be organized with your emails, okay? You can see everything in order. You can stay updated, right? Updated is with up-to-date emails. Right, you check your emails all the time, right? Don't forget to turn on your cameras. I see many cameras off. Turn on your cameras. Turn on your cameras. Okay, now let's go ahead and see some frequency arbiters. And we're going to practice pronunciation because we're not practicing pronunciation today. pronunciation bastante, bastante, bastante. And give me one second. We're going to do something. Give me one. I'm gonna put here some uh, words. Vamos a hacer un break de, 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 de lo que estamos haciendo. Porque necesito que practiquemos pronunciación en serio, chicos. Y no solamente con eso, sino que con todos los eh, ¿Qué? 
con todos los recursos que ustedes tengan afuera. ¿Ok? Recuerden que dos horas no son suficientes. Así que vamos a practicar pronunciación. Vamos a hacer un break de unos cinco minutos con pronunciación. The best way of uh, pronouncing or the best way of practicing is by uh, singing songs, is by watching TV and uh, imitating the sounds that we can see, right? By reading tongue twisters, that's another way. La mejor manera de practicar pronunciación es cantando canciones. En inglés, obviamente, ¿verdad? Cantando canciones, las líricas de las canciones. Practicando con tongue twisters. Tongue twister es un trabalengua. Practicando con tongue twisters. Es la mejor manera para que nosotros practiquemos pronunciación. Yo les voy a mostrar unos cuantos acá. Pero rapidito. Porque necesito que ustedes también en su casa vayan practicando pronunciación. Porque no solamente con las conversaciones podemos practicar conversación. Okay. Yo pronuncio, ustedes escuchan, luego ustedes tratan de imitar lo que yo estoy haciendo. Ok. We're going to, to, to start with Josué. Josué, look at the screen. Ok. Here we have the tongue twister in blue. And it says, can you can a can as a canner can can a can? We're going to practice. Everyone, please pay attention. Can you can I can as a can I can can I can? Please repeat. Okay. Can you can I can as a can I can can I can? Okay, one more time. Ahora hágalo rápido. Can you can I can as a can I can can I can? Can you can I can as a can I can can I can? Me dio dos cans de más, pero está bien. Ok, let's practice. Ana Gabriela, let's practice the same tongue twister. Can you can a can as a canner can a can a can? A can, ok, now faster. Ahora rápido, faster. Can you can a can as a canner can a can a, a can? Can, can, a can. Very good. So we have this one. This is very easy. Let's go with number two. Okay. Let's take a look at this one. For this one, you're going to help me, uh, Gabriel. Okay. Listen to me. Please. If it's two shoes, shoes, should two shoes, the shoes, his shoes. Okay. If is to choose shoes. Should is to choose the shoes he choose. Okay. One more time. I'm going to read this one more time, Gabriel. And everyone, please practice. Con su micrófono apagado, pero practiquen, por favor. No solo Ricardo. Right? If it's to choose shoes, should is to choose the shoes he choose. Now one more time, Gabriel. Slow first. Okay. If it's two shoes, 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 two shoes, the shoes, he shows. Very well. Now a little bit faster. If it's two shoes, 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 two shoes, the shoes, he shows. Now, very well. Very good job. Emerson, let's try. Se supone que todos están practicando al mismo tiempo que el que está hablando acá, entonces yo les puedo preguntar en cualquier momento. Emerson. Is it to shoot, 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 is to shoot, the shoes he shoots. Very good. That is perfect pronunciation. Very good, Emerson. Uh, Alexis. This year. Huh? Is to shoot, 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 is to shoot, they shoot, he shoots. Very good, very good. Now, let's continue. We'll go a little bit harder. Well, this is easy. But here we're going to pay attention to the R, okay? Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream, okay? R, ice cream, juice cream, we all scream 
for ice cream. Okay, let's repeat here, Luis Armando. Luis Armando. I love it. <laughs> Luis? No está Luis, ok. Él se fue, él se fue. Yeah. Hola. Hi. Luis, help me out with the, with the tongue twister. I ask cream, you ask cream, we ask cream for ice cream. Todos son ice cream, no. No todos son ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. One more time. Oigan bien la pronunciación. No todo es ice cream. Okay, okay. Ice cream, you scream, we scream for ice cream. Very good. You see the difference? Hay mucha diferencia. Very good, Luis Armando. Let's try it, Sandra. Mm, teacher. <laughs> Okay, in a moment, in a moment, in a moment. I have two more. Sandra? I think you seem, we all seem for ice cream. Excellent job. Very good. Very good. The most important thing is these two letters. Scream. And err. Err. Okay, good. Let's try the next one. Right? Six slick swans swam swiftly southwards. Six slick swans swam swiftly southwards. Okay? A little bit faster. Six slick swans swam swiftly southwards. Let's try it, please. Uh, Roxana, let's try it. That's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy. Okay, I'm going to try. Six sling swung, swung swiftly somewhere. Somewhere. Okay, very good. Let's, do you know? Teacher. <laughs> don't worry. Do you, do you know Taylor Swift? No, I don't remember. La cantante, la cantante Taylor Swift. Ah, I got it. Okay. Yeah, you're swiftly, right. Swiftly. Mm -hmm. Swiftly. Okay, one more time. So late. Six sleek swans swam swiftly southwards. Sounds worse is the last one word. Mm -hmm. South, 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 once. Okay, six sleek ones, ones, swiftly southwards. Okay, swans. Swans. This is one of swans, right? Swans. Six slick swans swam swiftly southwards. Eso, esos patos me marean. Sorry? Esos patos marean, me dio. <laughs> Celia, let's try it. Thank you, Roxana. You're welcome, but. <laughs> Six slick swans swam swiftly southwards. Swiftly southwards, very good. Good job, Celia. Good job. Now let's try the next Teacher. one. Mm -hmm. I have more twister if you want. I did pulling speaking, so I have a few. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Send it to me. <laughs> now, here, help me out, Carmen. Sorry, Carmen. Okay. Okay. Now, let's listen, and this is for everyone, because I will ask two more people here. Right. How many cookies could a good cook cook if a good cook could cook cookies? A good cook could cook as much cookies as a good cook who could cook cookies. Hasta yo me sale. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try it. Okay, let's okay. try the first part. Let's try the question. Okay, esto lo vamos a hacer en dos. Let's try the question, Carmen. How many cookies? Cool, a good cook cook if a good cook 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 cookies. Very well, excellent job. Let's try it, Juan Josué. Excellent, Carmen. Very good. Only the question. Only the question. 
How many cookies cold are good, good, good? Uh, is a good, good, cold, good cookies? Cookies, very good. Ya se nos va destrabando la lengua, very good. Let's try it, Asalia. Juan. Practice, Angie. Yo no la veo practicando, Angie. How many cookies? No me ha preguntado. <laughs> How many cookies call a good cuckoo if a good cook call cook cookies? If a good cook, good cook, cook. good cook, cook cookies. Very good. A good Very cook, good. Cook, cook, cook uh, as much cookies as a good cook, go, cook, cook, cookies. Cook. Okay. Very good. I need you to hey. practice this with me. Right. Okay, teacher. Listen. Listen. Okay. Listen. Um, listen. Listen. <laughs> yes. Let's go to teacher. Okay. I could cook, could cook as much cookies as I could cook. Who could cook cookies? Okay. okay. So, teacher. I will cook, cook, cook as much cookie as a good cook, 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 cook cookies. Excellent work. <laughs> Excellent work. Now we're missing so, right here Daniel and Pedrina. Daniel? A good, 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 as much cookies as a good, 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 good cookies. Very good. Very good job. Let me show you the last one. This is going to be for Pedrina, for Jennifer, and for Concepcion, right? Pedrina, Jennifer, and Concepcion. Let's try. And this is the R. R. Okay. R. What a terrible tongue twister. What a terrible tongue twister. What a terrible tongue twister. What a thing. Okay, listen. I'm not saying terrible, no. What a terrible tongue twister. What a terrible tongue twister. What a terrible tongue twister. Okay, let's just start with you, Concepcion. What a terrible tongue twister, what a terrible tongue twister, what a terrible tongue twister. Very good. Bien británico said, what a, very good. <laughs> good, Leida. What a, what a table. <laughs> what a table. What a terrible. What a, what a table tongue twister. What a table tongue twister. What a table tongue twister. Okay, repeat with me, Leida. Terrible. Terrible. Excellent. Now say it one more time. Terrible. What a table tongue twister. What a table tongue twister. What a table tongue twister. Me está diciendo table, not terrible. 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 Okay, let's go. Eh, Pedrina. Watch a what a terrible tongue trister, watch a terrible one trister, watch a terrible one trister. Okay, repeat with me. Tongue. Horn. No. Tongue. Horn. Tongue. 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 Very good. Tongue. Now, one more time. What a terrible tongue trister. Why a terrible tongue trister. Uh, again, watch a table tongue twister. Watch a table tongue twister. twister. Very good. You see, very good. Thank you, Pedrina. Okay, no se me quedó nadie, verdad? For practicing. Who? Me, Roxy. Ah, uh, with you all be this one. Usted me debe ser. Mada difficult. <laughs> you owe me this it's one. okay, teacher. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, this is for you to see that there are many ways of practicing the pronunciation. ¿De quién? ¿De quién me olvidé? ¿De quién me olvidé? De Jennifer. Jennifer Avidail. Ah, Jennifer Avidail. Uh -huh. Jennifer. Uh -huh. <laughs> Jennifer, tell me. No, la última. <laughs> No, no. Sí, que me puso a mí. 
Da difficult. El de cookies, el de cookies. El de cookies. <laughs> Por hacerme regresar, vea. This one, Jennifer. <laughs> Repítame. <laughs> How many cookies could a good cook cook if a good cook 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 cook? <laughs> How many cookies could a good cook cook eat a good cook cool cookie? Cook cookies. Cook cookies. Very good. Very good. Abigail, como siempre, tiene el micrófono apagado. Yeah. <laughs> ok, very good. Very good. Now, por favor, practiquen en sus casas no solamente con lo que hacemos en la clase, porque si no, la pronunciación no va a mejorar. Si no mejora la pronunciación, entonces no mejora la entonación de las palabras ni de las oraciones. Ok. Tenemos que practicar en casa. Cantemos. Yo no puedo cantar, pero me puedo cantar. Pero es muy importante. Así dejamos de sonar. Eh, aunque no, no me pagan tanto para eso. Yo solo una vez, una vez practiqué una canción en el colegio. No me, no me pagan suficiente para cantar. Sí, sí, sí. Si me pagaron más la hora, lo pensaron. Ah, sí. Sí, yeah, what song? Ponga una de Beyoncé o algo así. We want así. to hear you. Feel the light. Una de Beyoncé. Una de Beyoncé. Me da Lisa Case. Feel the light. <risa> <risa> Esa es Lisa. Casi de nadie. Casi de nadie piden, de la Beyoncé, de la Lisa Keys. Yeah, we want to hear you, please. Sí, por la sorry. De la Britney. De la Brini ahí. Sabemos que es el tono, sabemos que es el tono. De la Brini, sí. No de María Carrey. Confiamos en su talento, teacher. Cuando me paguen más, yo les aviso. Ya vamos a pedir entonces que le vamos a Vamos a hacer la cabuda. Vamos a hacer la cabuda, teacher. Sí, teacher. Más que queda grabado después en memes ahí en todo. No. Vamos a hacer la cabuda. Ok. But you have to sing. I mean... Ustedes sí, ustedes sí tienen que practicar en casa. Thinking, Ay, no. pronunciation, tongue Ay, twisters, bueno. eh, videos, put videos on Netflix, put videos on YouTube, so they can help you, you can practice. One way of practicing is imitating the sounds. Usted ve cómo lo pronuncia y lo imita. Okay? La imitación nos va a ayudar bastante. ¿Ok? Now. Can you see okay. my screen? Sorry, I have a question. Yes. Uh, what is what is the difference between I can stay updated and I can be updated? Uh, usually we say it, I can stay updated. You have to stay updated. Mm -hmm. In the in the, yes. updated. the most common phrase is stay updated. Okay. Or when sometimes they, they tell you. Hey, eh, hey, stranger, keep me updated. Keep me updated, también se puede utilizar. Cuando alguien le dice, manténme informado, manténme al tanto. Keep me. Keep me. Keep me updated. Yes, me. I will stay updated with all the information. Okay, keep me updated and stay updated. Okay. I want to stay updated with, uh, with the politics in El Salvador, for him. Okay. Good, thank you. And now, let's go ahead and practice the adverse of frequency. Do you remember that last week I showed you like a triangle with the adverse of frequency? Yes. Yes? Yes, we remember. Okay. Very good. So right now, we're going to put that into practice. We have this adverse of frequency, right? We have the adverse of frequency from 100% to 0%, right? Now, I want you to help me out with the pronunciation of this. I will say your name and please tell me the sentence that you have for the, for the frequency advert. Okay, let's start with Carmen. 100% Carmen. 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 Always. Yes. Mm -hmm. I yes. always get up at five o'clock. Very good. Thank you so much. I always get up at five o'clock. Excellent pronunciation, Carmen. Let's continue with 90%. Roxana. Um, he usually drives to work. He usually tries to work. Excellent job. 80%. Sandra. Uh, 
Sandra? She normally, she normally checks her email. She normally checks her email. Very good. She normally checks her email. 70%. Alexis. I often have breaks at work. Okay. Breakfast. Breakfast. Breakfast at work. Very Breakfast. good. Angie, 50%. She um sometimes she sometimes use the microwave microwave okay. uses repeat uses. uses uses the microwave okay read it one more time she sometimes she's she sometimes uses the microwave uses the microwave very well Let's go with 30%, Acelia. I occasionally work overtime. I occasionally work overtime. I occasionally, I occasionally work overtime. Very good. 10%, Celia. We seldom take calls at the work. At there work. We seldom take calls at work. 5%, Ricardo. Ricardo Gabriel. Okay. He rarely has conference. Very good. Rarely. 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 <laughs> or we can say, he hardly ever has conferences. He hardly ever has conferences. Good. Es lo mismo, es decir, hardly. Hardly ever or rarely is the same. Okay. Okay. And zero percent, Pedrina? Hardly. I never get luck to work. I never get late to work. Very good. So we usually, we, we use the frequency adverse to say how frequently we do the activities per day, right? Or per week or per month. So we have these adverse of frequency. These are on your book on page 20, I think. On your model book on page 20. What are we going to do right now? We are going to work uh, in breakout rooms, okay? And in groups, you are going to make one sentence for each frequency adverb, okay? Everything that you speak is going to be related to your work, okay? Todo lo que escriban va a ser relacionado con su trabajo, okay? You're going to work in groups, okay? Because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sentences. You are going to create nine sentences. You're going to create your own table. Usted va a hacer su propia tabla con sus propios ejemplos, right? Your own table with your own examples, right? Using the adverse of frequency and using activities that you do every day, especially activities that you do in your workplace. Is that clear? Is it clear what we're going to do? ¿Se entiende que vamos a trabajar? Yes. Yes, yes but individually or in group. In groups. We're going to do that in groups right now. But before we do that, please turn on your cameras because I will call the attendance right now. Antes que nos vayamos en grupo, vamos a pasar la asistencia. Let's just start with Ana Gabriela Córdoba de Samayor. Presente. Ángela de Jesús Santa María Juárez. Presente, teacher. Azalia Melanie Guardado Cuartilla. Present, teacher. Carmen Lisset Hernández Escobar. Present. Cilia Yasmín Castro de Chévez. Present. Daniela Milker Sandoval Avilés. Present. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present. José Alfonso Palma Mejía. Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. Present, teacher. Leida Susana Sorto Cuadra. Luis Armando Ventura Campos. 
Present teacher. María Concepción Serón Joven. Present. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Present teacher. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Ricardo Gabriel Varenga Ventura. Here. Roxana Yanira Mengíbal Escobar. Roxana Yanira. Present. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Thank you. Mendes de Barahona. Jennifer Abidai Lopez Scott. Okay, very good. So let's go ahead and work right now in breakout rooms. Estás no olvida nadie, verdad? No. No olvidamos a nadie. Let's go ahead and start. We're going to go in breakout rooms. How many sentences are we going to make right now? Nine. Nine sentences. Very good. Nine sentences. Ay, this. Nine sentences, one is nine sentences for the whole group. No van a, si están en tres, no quiero 27 oraciones, quiero nueve solamente. Okay? No, no, Todos tienen que tener lo mismo. So let's go ahead and practice right now. And let us go, let us go, let us go. Let's go. Select your group. Select, select, select. Chilia, Leida. Do you have questions right now? Uh, ahorita no, o sea, estamos ahorita empezando. Okay, okay. Con Let me know if you have ahí. questions. Okay, me avisan si tienen preguntas. Okay, okay teacher, thank See you. In a moment. Thank you. Are you always scared, yes? Sí. I always write a report. I always write a report on Mondays, for example. For example. I always write on a Mondays. report on Saturdays or Fridays. ¿Qué día escriben los reportes más que todo? On Friday. On Friday, okay. Very good. I will be yeah. listening to you right now, okay? Give me one moment. He usually call a client every day. Okay. He usually. He usually. Call a client. Call a client. A client. Every day. Every day. Every day. All carry on. Call, Call a, a client. client. Client, ¿cómo lo escriben? Clients. Solo que no lleva la E. Eh. Clients. Clientes. Clientes. Sin, sin la uh -huh. última E. Eh. No me acordaba. <risa> Como son solo de trabajo. Se escribe si no puedo, sé. pero la pronunciación. La otra sería... She norm Normally. Uh -huh. She normally, normally, uh -huh. check rep, uh, sales report. Check sales report. She normally. 
Sí, normally. Check. Sales report. Check de revisar. Check de revisar, ajá. Check Sales report. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Often. Ahí. Did you finish? No. No. She often. She often. I often say. I often. I often. Mm. Oh. Anna? Uh, I often. Aten, uh, hi, hi often eh, aten, como las reuniones o la organize, organize conference. Meeting. Hi uh -huh, meeting. Uh -huh. I often have a meeting at work. I often meeting in Thursday. In Thursday. Thursday. Nice. Okay. Your, One. Yes. I normally clean my window. Okay. Normally clean my window. I often oh. clean the windows in my office, for example. Remember okay. that it has to be mostly related about your work. Sobre todo relacionado con su trabajo. ¿Ok? Ok. ¿Questions? ¿No questions? No. No, no. Okay, I occasionally call clients. Uh, tell them. Tell them. Tell them is a little bit readily. <laughs> Casi <laughs> nunca. <laughs> tell them. Tell them. Uh, I, I sell them. Um, uh, I seldom arrive, arrive late. Arrive late. Uh -huh. I seldom arrive late. I seldom I arrive late. 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 Okay. My work or to my work, yeah. To my work. You can say that. Okay. Readily. 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 I really readily. Readily. Five percent. Okay, I really clean the stool. Uh, terminaron? Almost done? No. Contam, contam, I really contact my boss. I really contact my boss. I contact my boss. I contact my boss. Okay. Que galang yo estaba. <laughs> and the last one, I never really contact my boss. I rarely contact my boss. Okay, I never is the last one. I never. I, I never speak out loud. Mira si reciben este. Eh, si reciben este mensaje, voy a enviar un mensaje. 
¿Lo recibe? Sí. ¿Lo recibió? Sí. sí. Yes. Ok. Yes. No. ¿No lo recibió? Sí. Este no. sí. Sí. Voy a cambiar de equipo a todos. Ah, ok, ok. Ya terminaron, ¿verdad? <risa> Una nos faltaba, Never. I never. Hágala, hágala, hágala. I, I never speak aloud in the office. Es, speak aloud. Aloud. Uh, eso es, no me lo no, no entender. Entender. Out loud. For example, sometimes you speak like that. And for example, you speak loud. A veces suavecito y a veces fuerte. Loud ah, is loud. Fuerte. Loud. Loud. Uh -huh. loud. Loud. Never speak loud. Okay, oh, vamos a empezar a cambiar. Okay. okay. See you later. Thank you, Sam. See you later, Sandra. Mm. Go to room number one. Leida comes to, no, Ricardo is going to come here to room number five. Ana Gabriela to room number three. Celia to room number five. You're going to share your experiences, Ricardo? with your classmates, okay? Again. Okay. Las oraciones que usted tiene, compártalas, solo léalas. Okay. I always have lunch at 12 p.m. I usually have meetings in Thursdays. I normally climb my windows I often call with my boss. I'm sometimes ride motocicleta. No me sé Motorcycle. Cómo Motorcycle. I occasionally write reports to calls. I seldom got out late. I rarely, y me quedé ahí. I rarely what? What can you say about rarely? I rarely, uh, play in my work. Okay, I rarely play in my workplace. Okay, good. So I let you work with Celia and Luis Armando. Share your answers. Okay, you are sharing right now the information that you have practiced with your group. Solo, solo lean, solo lean sus ejemplos, okay? No copien. Ok. Todos son de grupos distintos, ¿verdad? Sí. sí. Only read. Read your examples, Daniel. Uh, never made petty. Okay. <risa> yes, <risa> yes, yes, yes. Voy entrando aquí porque me sacó de, de dónde está. Sí. Para que comparta lo que hoy tiene. Just read your examples. Read your examples. Solo leanlos. Los que crearon con su equipo, leanlos hoy. Todos son de equipos distintos, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes, yes. Y lean eh, sus ejemplos. Asalia y yo somos del mismo. Ahí qué es. Del mismo grupo. Ok. Ah, pues, ¿no te que lea? Uh, nosotros llegamos hasta el normal. Algo. Uh -huh. Solo lean los ejemplos. Um, ok. Ocasionally. Ocasionally. I occasionally call clients. I occasionally, occasionally. occasionally. ¿Cuál era el verbo? Call. 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 Call client. Call is like cold. It's very cold. Okay. We tell them? Yes. I seldom go go out late. 
I seldom I seldom arrive late to my work. Oh, so late to my work. Um, readily. Uh, uh -huh. readily. Readily. Always. Always. Usual. Usually. Usually. Teacher, ¿qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Yo estaba en otro grupo y vine a parar yo. aquí. Así va, todo revuelto. Sí. Revuelto. Ya iba para por que, la mitad en el otro grupo. Para que compartan lo que han hecho en el otro grupo, aunque sea la mitad. What did okay. you do? Well, well, teacher. Solo léale la, los ejemplos que usted tiene para que ellas compartan los de ellas también. Sí, ya lo leímos. Ya lo ya leímos. leímos, sí, ya, ya lo compartimos. Sí, lo leímos. Vámonos, pues. Vámonos. Vámonos todos. <ríe> Let's go. Muy late. Ok, so now we are going to... We, we share the sentences, right? Did you share your sentences? Yeah. Yes, yes. okay, very good. Now we're going to do another activity using address of frequency. This other activity is going to be individual work, okay? Now, how we, what we are going to do here? We are going to, right now, create six sentences, right? Mm. The sentences that we are going to create is it okay, Pedrina? Now, what we're going to do is that we're going to create our sentences using how often. For example, I will give you my sentences right now, right? And I will write here. My first one is how often do you have meeting? Number two is how often do you, or how often. Is already do you hear? How often do you drink coffee in the office? In the office. In the office. That's number two. Number three for me, I want to ask how often do you take breaks in your chip? During your chip? During your chip. What does it mean, chip? Your chip, for example, my chip is from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. In my work, my chip is from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Mi horario. Mi horario laboral. My um, chip. How often do you take breaks during your chip? How often do you print photocopies? You print copies in your in your company. Your company. These are my questions. These are examples only, right? These are my examples. Mm -hmm. Individually, right now, each one of you is going to create six sentences. Well, five. Let's do five because there is already one here. How often do you have meetings? Right? Now we're going to create five more questions using how often. How often do you have meetings? How often do you drink coffee? How often do you take breaks? That's what we're going to do. Uh, is it clear what we're doing right now? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes? Okay, very good. So let's go ahead and start working. This work is going to be individual work. Let's do five questions individually right now. No, no vamos a break up from ahorita. Let's do it. Pero no vamos a usar have meeting. Sure? Have meeting no vamos a usar ahorita. No, only how often. Only how often. 
ya está la tabla. The table is on page, on page, ta, 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 ta. go to page 21 on your, on your book. If you go to page 21, you will see the, this, this table. Page 21. How often do you have meetings? How often do you have English classes? <laughs> yeah, teacher, finish. Very good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, good, good, good. Let's wait for the others, Roxana. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Yo las tengo realizadas, pero de otra manera, teacher. Entonces, realízalas de la manera que acabamos de hacer. Las borro todo. Yes. Espérame, porque me paciencia. Ya las Let me know if you have questions. Please put them in the chat. Si tienen preguntas, si no quieren preguntar así, out loud, you can put it in the chat. If you want to check your, your questions right now, put them in the chat. Okay, very good, Carmen. <laughs> That's a nice puppy. <laughs> Finish. Very good, very good. Rox, Ricardo, and Carmen finished. Finish this. Okay, very good, Josue. Excellent job. No. Let's continue here. If we finish, let me know when you finish. I have only four people who have finished. Daniel, you finished? Uh, tengo yes? cinco. Okay, very good. Five, five, very good. If you already have five, that's perfect. Sandra? Yes. Very good. Leida? Mm, aún me faltan porque solo tengo cuatro. Okay, okay, one more. Abigail, Luis? Okay, 
Okay, let's wait then. Let's wait. Casalia? Solo tengo tres, teacher. Okay, hurry up, hurry up. Voy por la cuatro. Okay, Concepción? Me falta una, teacher. Okay. Okay, what we're going to do right now is the following. We are going to use one of our questions right now, and we are going to ask that question to one of our partners. It's going to be like a change, okay? Como una cadenita, como una cadenita, like a change. So we are going to start. I am going to start, right? And I will start with Carmen. Carmen, how often do you drink coffee in your office? Well, I I always drink coffee in my office every day. Every day. Okay, very <laughs> good. <laughs> so now if you see, we are going to use in our answers, we are going to use adverse of frequency. Okay? Si preguntamos con how often, nuestra respuesta debe llevar un adverse of frequency all the time. I already asked a question to Carmen. Carmen, ask your question to Roxana. Um, Roxana, how often do you work overtime? Can you repeat, please? Sorry, I didn't hear you. Okay. Um, how often do you work overtime? I always work overtime. Okay, okay. That sounds tiring. Okay, good. Roxana, good. Now ask a question to Ricardo Gabriel. Okay, Ricardo, are you ready? Yes, ready. How often do you send emails to your boss? Oh, okay. I sometimes uh, send emails with my boss. Okay, send emails to my boss. Okay, send emails to my boss. Thank you, Roxana. Thank you, Gabriel. Gabriel, ask Sandra Gladys. Okay, Sandra. <laughs> How often do you uh, do you play with your partners? Play? With your partners. Partners. <laughs> Compañeros. Would okay. that be co workers? Uh, rarely. I rarely, I rarely play, play partners. Play with my partner. With my partner. Okay, very good answer, Sandra. Sandra, I need you to ask right now, Josue. Josue. Todos van a participar, así que pongan atención, por favor. Jose, do you achieve documents in your work? Jose, do you achieve documents in your work? How often do you access documents in your work? I access documents every day. I access documents every day. Okay, 
Can you tell me one adverb frequency that you can use with that sentence? Josue? No. What is the adverse, adverb frequency that you can use? Can you use never? Always. Always. Very good, Jose. Very good. Now, Jose, I want you to ask a question to uh, Maria Concepcion. Okay. Maria Concepcion, how often do you sleep in the afternoon? Okay. I never sleep. In the afternoon. Okay, very good. When we when we do that, guys, Josue Concepcion, when we sleep in the afternoon, usually what we're going to say is take a nap. Take a nap. How often do you take a nap in the afternoon? Porque las naps son de 15, 20 minutos. You go, take a nap, and then you come back to work. Right? Se supone que 15 queda 3 horas durmiendo. How often do you take a nap take in the nap. afternoon? Take a nap. Anoten esa, esa frase. Take a nap. Take a nap. Tomar una siesta. ¿Cómo? Tomar una siesta. Uh -huh. okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Concepción, please ask a question to Daniela Milka. How, ask, how often do you are a receptionist? How often do you are a receptionist? Mm, but what is the verb? Si es una receptionista. Ah, no. Aquí no pega porque no hay verbo de acción. Okay. Um, Tell me a question with a verb. Action verb. Porque si no sería, are you a receptionist? You no, know, pero. How often, do you, how often do you take a lunch? Oh, how often do you take a lunch? Repeat. How often do you take a lunch? Uh, uh, How often do you take lunch? I often mm -hmm. I often take a lunch. I often take lunch. Okay. I hope I so. Lo, I often take a lunch. Eleven. At eleven. Oh, okay. Very good. I often take a lunch at eleven. Very good, Amilka. At 11. Now, look at the chat. In the chat, I put two phrases. One says, have a lunch. And the other one have says, a take a lunch. Listen to me. Imagine that you go to McDonald's, okay? You go to McDonald's and you go in your car, right? Or you go walking, whatever. But you just go to McDonald's and you say, I need one hamburger, one combo, for example. One combo, a combo has hamburger, fries, and soda, right? You say, to eat or to, to take out, right? Take lunch, it means that you will, will take your lunch and you will take it somewhere else, okay? Un take lunch take, take, significa llevar. llevar, take lunch. Ustedes te llevan el, su almuerzo de donde ustedes tienen para otro lugar. En have lunch is to comer, almorzar. Have lunch significa almorzar. Take lunch significa llevarse el almuerzo. I, I take lunch from McDonald's to my office. I take lunch from uh, Wendy's to my office, for example. Okay. Now, let's see. Uh, here, Amilcar. Ask a question to 
ask a question to, to Angie. Una de las que escribió, a veces las Angie. Una pregunta de las que escribió. Always check her mind at work. No, una de las preguntas que escribió con how often. How often? Um, no, escribió sus I preguntas con how often, Daniel. No, no. Escribió oraciones con adverse of frequency. Ok, esperes entonces. Eh, Angie, ask a question to Asalia. Uh, Salia, how often do you argue with your boss? No. One more time. How often? How often do you argue with your boss? No puede poner el adverb frequency en la pregunta, Angie. Um, el verbo. El verbo, sí. El adverb frequency, no. Usted dijo always en, el, en la pregunta y no lo puede decir porque eso es lo que usted está No, 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 no. Do you often, o sea, how often do you argue? Argue. Argue. Discutir. Ah, argue. Argue. Okay. Argue. Argue with, with, uh -huh. with, with your boss. Argue your boss. with your boss. Always. Your boss. Con mi jefe. Argue. Mm -hmm. How often yes, do you argue yes, with your boss? Con qué frecuencia discute con su jefe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Never. Every day. Always. <laughs> Usually. Natalia. <laughs> Every day on my mind. Every day. No. Um, Nunca. <laughs> Uh, si never. Está grabando, ¿no? No, never. I never argue with my boss. I never. I never. I. No sé cómo se dice. Argue. I never. Argue. I. I. I love you. I love. I love you. I love my boss. I'm my boss. <laughs> my. Is she? Is she my boss? <laughs> Como que va a ver el video, la jefa. Ok. Good, 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 good. Now we have here the practice with how often. I will take the attendance very quick and I will stay with Luis Armando only. Ok. Me voy a quedar con Luis Armando. Pasamos la asistencia rápido y nos vamos. Let's see here. Ana Gabriela Córdoba de Samayoa. Ángela de Jesús Santa María Juárez. Presente, teacher. Natalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present teacher. Carmen Isaac Hernández Escobar. Present. Celia Jazmín Castro de Chévez. Present. Daniela Milka Sandoval Avilés. Present. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present. Le y José Alfonso Palma Mejía. Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. Present. Leida Susana Sorto Cuadra. Present. Eh, Luis Armando Ventura Campos. Present teacher. María Concepción Cerón Jovel. Present teacher. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Present teacher. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Ricardo Gabriel Barenga Ventura. I'm here. Roxana Yonira Mejibar Escobar. Present. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Present teacher. Jennifer Avidaí López Escoto. Ok, very good. Present teacher. Thank you. So everyone have a beautiful rest of the night. See you tomorrow at 8 p.m. I will just stay with Luis Armando, okay? Have a beautiful Bye. night. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye, Celia.
Ok, Luis Armando, hello. Hola, teacher. Eh, dice que no me puedo quedar porque acabo de entrar al turno y tenemos un problema y tengo que recibir el turno. Ah, ok. Entiendo, Luis Armando. Entonces, have a beautiful night. Ok. Bye, bye. Bye, bye Luis. 